All right, if you're a live stream producer and you've tried to produce an online talk show or podcast, you know how hard it can be to get virtual guests into the stream and get their audio nice and clean. But Expert Broadcaster's latest update has introduced a virtual microphone. And I really think that this opens up a lot of possibilities and makes life a lot easier for producing these virtual talk shows. All right, so what is a virtual microphone? So a virtual microphone is like the virtual camera device in the Expert Broadcaster. So this installs an extra microphone device and basically everything that Expert produces audio-wise gets sent to the virtual microphone. So your microphone source, your system sound source, any media files that you add, this all gets sent to the virtual microphone device. And you can add this virtual microphone device to anything that takes a microphone input. It could be audio recording software, it can be a video conferencing software. It all gets sent, especially if you add different plugins and effects and XSplit, this all gets sent through that virtual microphone device. All right, so why is this important? Why is this useful? So one thing for anyone that's maybe started a video podcast or transitioned their podcast to a video podcast, you've probably had problems taking that audio and putting it up on your usual podcast channels. Because with Expert Broadcaster, you only record audio as a video file and you can edit that and export that out separately, but you can actually do this simultaneously now with Expert Broadcaster and the virtual microphone device. So you have Expert Broadcaster doing your stream or recording, right? And then you open up a program like Audacity and then set the input as Expert Broadcaster and record these simultaneously. So now you can record something as a WAV file or MP3 file and throw it up on your podcasting site and then put the video podcast or the stream up on YouTube, Twitch, wherever. And it's very straightforward, easy to use. You can even set up some hotkeys and use like with the stream deck. So you trigger both recordings at the same time. So really good way to have an audio archive. I know a lot of people have been waiting or wanting to do something like this when they're streaming their video podcast. All right, so a lot of online stream producers have probably become pretty savvy with bringing in remote guests. And it's pretty straightforward to get someone's video and audio through Zoom or Discord. You know, they just add their camera and their microphone. But if you're trying to do something like, say, get their computer audio or additional audio, unless they have a mixer, it can be quite hard. Now, Expert Broadcaster makes this easier than ever. So whatever remote guests you have, they can set themselves up in Expert Broadcaster so they can add their gameplay audio, their camera, their microphone audio. They can put VSTs on it and then send that through the virtual microphone device in the same software. But they can also use their virtual camera that's built into XSplit and anything that they produce in XSplit, like scenes and overlays and effects, both these things grow through. It makes things so much easier to now bring in someone's complete production remotely. All right, so imagine you have a important presentation coming up or an interview coming up. And today your building decided to do construction, so it's noisy outside. So you scramble and try and get noise removal software going, but you can't and no one can hear you. And it's 10 minutes in and everyone, it's a wash, it's a disaster. But now with Expert Broadcast, you can actually use Expert Broadcaster's audio DSP effects. So this can be the noise removal or even the NVIDIA noise removal. And then you can send this through the virtual microphone and you can even add additional production on top. So now you can use a virtual camera so you can add a filter or a cool effect to your face cam, or you can add your Google Slides and do this whole presentation produced with Expert Broadcaster with videos and transitions and cool effects. So pretty much your whole remote work experience can be a lot better and you can have a lot better remote presentations using Expert Broadcaster. So these are just a few examples and kind of some of the reasons why I'm so excited about having a virtual microphone as a live stream producer. But I wanna know from you, like have you encountered your own audio struggles with live streaming, especially producing online remote shows? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos and tips and tune in next time we're in the lab.